Welcome back to Movie Summary. Today we are diving into a film called First Daughter. The movie begins with the life of a girl, her name is Samantha. We show how challenging it has been for her to be the daughter of the President of the United States. Inside she only dreamed to experience a normal life, do things on her own for once. She expresses her concerns to her father but he reminds her she is the daughter of the President. The day Samantha heads to college finally arrives and everyone including parents and staff is stressing. For the first time, Samantha is leaving the White House to move to college and leave on her own. As she leaves escorted by the Secret Service, the public is gathered wishing her a great college life. They finally arrive to college and Samantha is disappointed that a band is welcoming her as well as a crowd of supporters. They show her her room and minutes later the parents are tearing up, as it's time to say goodbye to their only daughter. They then leave and Samantha is on her own. She enjoys her room but is still tiny annoyed because a bunch of secret service agents follows everywhere. Moments later, Mia walks in, her new roommate. Mia is freaked out by being with the daughter of the president, she wants to change rooms but Samantha convinces her to give it a try. Mia then wants to go to a party tonight but Samantha's schedule is already planned, she has to attend a fundraiser. After it, she goes to her room but Mia tells her to come back in two hours because she had a boy in there. This is the first real college situation she is having. She then goes to wait outside, two guys shows up to invite her to a party. The classes then begin and Samantha is uncomfortable as every student is looking at her. A guy by the name of James makes a joke for the class to laugh to shift attention from Samantha. So after class she goes to him to say thank you. That afternoon Samantha heads to the party she has been invited, it's bikini only. Mia comes too and is annoyed at the secret service also there. A group of guys then come dancing around Samantha, Mia get jealous of the attention she is getting. At this moment, a man with a gun comes appears and secret services jump him as they evacuate the president's daughter. Minutes later, they realize it was a water gun. Samantha had enough, she barges in her dad's office screaming she wants him to reduce the number of secret services. All she is asking is a shred of normalcy. The president agrees to reduce from four to two secret service agents, Bach and Dylan. She is happier as she feels the difference, especially that her two agents are dressing more casual. That same night she goes to have some fun at a party and meets James again. The next day, she realizes she is in the news, they took a bad picture of her during the party. Her father calls angry as he is in the middle of re-election campaign but Mia believes at some point every father needs to let go of their daughter. The incident brings a much of press to the school. Samantha runs from them and ends up in James' room by mistake. He understands she needs to escape so he gives her his clothes pretending to be someone else and both escape. They go for a lunch and get to know each other. Unfortunately paparazzis catch up to them and both start running. The paparazzi chase them through the entire town. Fortunately James takes her to a cinema loosing the paparazzi. Even in this chaos, Samantha is happy as she is finally experimenting the life of an ordinary girl, seating in this theater watching a movie with James. After the movie, they continue their hangout in his room. They have such a good time that they spend the entire night talking. James starts to realize how hard Samantha's life can be. Later that day, Mia and Samantha wants to know if James is really interested. So they invite him to a bonfire the following evening. The following evening arrive and they are waiting for James. Mia then sees her crush, but when Am the crush comes to them he says hi to Samantha instead, so Mia gets jealous and runs away. Samantha then confronts her realizing she likes to be the center of attention and is not having it here. Their argument is public and everyone witnesses it. The next day, James comes to check on how Samantha is doing. She tells him she realizes her life would never be normal. To cheer her up, he takes her again to escape from the secret service. They go on a little date on a lake. There James shares with her his big pressure of pleasing his dad and becoming the person he wants him to be. As the day continues, Samantha realizes how when she is with him, she doesn't feel like the first daughter, but she feels like herself. After a full day full F adventure, they both finally get back to campus. They visibly want to kiss, they decide to say goodbye but Samantha jumps on him and gives him a lovely kiss. She immediately goes to tell the news to Mia and they make peace. The next day, Samantha makes a mysterious call. 
And before you know it, the Secret Service brings Mia and James to Air Force One, the presidential plane. Samantha wants to treat them well. They are both overwhelmed by the great service they get. Hours later, they land and Samantha dresses them up then brings them to her dad's campaign reception. Mia is really enjoying the perks of being in this important room, she even meets an African ambassador. Samantha is over the moon while dancing with James. After the gala, some reporters ask her questions about her dad's policies while some protesters are screaming that her dad is a fraud. James defends her and at this moment cars come crash to the entrance. The Secret Service reacts quickly to evacuate Samantha, as well as James who seems to know exactly where to go as he is leading her. He puts her in a black car and says to his earpiece, first daughter secured. Samantha looks at him with the biggest shock, he was not just some random teens, but a Secret Service hired. He had blown his cover and Samantha cries realizing what just happened. Her life is so controlled, even to her personal life. Later that night, she confronts her dad. But the president reminds her that he gets dozens of threats on her every day. But Samantha is disappointed, she even believes that maybe his feelings for her were not real. But Mia doesn't think so and offers to test it, to make him jealous. The next day, James tries to talk to her but she ignores him treating him like an agent. She goes on dates, parties as James is visibly uncomfortable. At one point he had enough and punches one of the guys hitting on Samantha. He then takes the drunk Samantha out of the bar she was in. He brings her safely to her room. At this moment, she confronts him, she wonders what would have been if she was a normal girl. She wants him to forget who she is outside but focus on the Samantha right here in this room. He breaks and reveals that what he was doing was real. He then leaves. The next day, like expected her crazy adventures last night at the bar made the news. Her dad is furious. Mia then shows to her the other breaking news in the media, her relationship with James. She immediately goes to him but realizes it's another agent, he reveals to her James has been fired. Days go by as she tries to live like nothing but one day she breaks in tears. Her mother then comes and grabs her daughter out of college to join her father's campaign. Meanwhile James has been suspended from the secret agency. One night, Samantha asks her dad to make sure James is okay. Weeks later, the great news arrive, Mackenzie is re-elected as president of the United States of America. During his speech, he thanks his daughter for helping him finding his way. At this moment, daughter and father notices James there. The dad leaves his daughter allowing James to take over. He dances with her one last time and gives her a heartfelt goodbye. He wishes her luck as she leaves. But at the last minute, they can't and run back to each other. James then kisses her. She then leaves and realizes her dad got her her minicar like she wanted and she is now leaving the White House like a regular person. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out other movie summaries we have on our channel.